Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video for MRCS exam. And here it is the question and answer solve session. Question answer session will give you a better preparation for passing the MRCS exam. Here the question. First of all, read the question very carefully. A 63 years old man is admitted with severe headache, nausea, and recent epileptic fit. Pandoscopy shows papilledema. He also noted to have diplopia. Who is of the following cranial nerve? listed account for the letter so after careful reading we have to now find out the key points to answer the question very easily so here a 63 years old man admitted with severe headache nausea and recent epileptic fit fit fundoscopy show papilledema so these all features are correlate with the raised intracranial pressure so raise intracranial pressure it causes severe headache nausea epileptic fit and papilledema and uh, they wants to know which cranial nerve is damaged or compromised with this event that means raised icp uh, it effect which of the nerve at first or very beginning here the options the options are abducens optic oculomotor facial and trigeminal so we have to find out the one of the five option which is compatible to answer of the question or which is the answer of the question that means which of the cranial nerve may be compromised at first among the all cranial nerve or among the all 12 cranial nerve so here we can see this is the exit of uh, some of the cranial nerve here and here we can see the sixth cranial nerve this is the abducent nerve and this abducent nerve arising from here then it uh, exit deep brain and here it goes uh, this area and finally reaches the eye so here we can see this nerve is very close contact with the bones so if any intracranial pressure is increases then here is possible to compress the abducent nerve in this picture we also can see the here is the sixth cranial nerve that means the abducent nerve and it goes to the orbital cavity and here it supplies the lateral lactate muscle and here the important line that the long intracranial course of the nerve so the abducent nerve it is not the longest cranial nerve but its intracranial course is longer other nerve they are arising from here and leaves the skull base cavity or base of the skull foramen so any other nerve they usually arises and within very short distance they leave the cranial cavity through their foramina but here the abducent nerve it arises the pontomedullary junction then it ascends and finally reaches in the eye so, so this is the long distance long distance in the cranial cavity so any increased pressure within the cranial cavity they may compromise the function or may press this abducent nerve and first of all the abducent nerve will be get damage and it's susceptible to damage early in the course of the raised icp so this point is very very important any cause that causes increased pressure within the cranial cavity it will hamper the sixth cranial nerve and in this picture we can see this is the sixth cranial nerve and it is the clivus which is part of a skull base skull and this cranial nerve arises from here then it has also the long contact with these bones so if pressure increase here it usually compress the sixth cranial nerve and it usually get trapped in this area in these bones and there is every chance of injury of the sixth cranial nerve first then other 11 cranial nerve so for any cause increase the icp intracranial pressure the sixth nerve should be would be damaged thank you all so here our answer is the sixth cranial nerve because during the increase icp here the clinical fissure they are the fissure of the raised intracranial pressure or icp and raised intracranial pressure first of all it involves the abducent nerve thank you all